everyone and welcome back to my channel Taylor Made Creations. If you're new, welcome and please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. If you're not new, welcome back and thank you for joining me tonight. In tonight's video, we're going to be learning how to make a notebook slash planner from start to finish using the We Are Memory Keepers cinch, okay? So I have my cinch here. In the last video, I showed you guys some of the supplies that you would need in order to make the notebooks slash planners from scratch, okay, from start to finish. And that included the cinch, and I have my laminator here. And with that being said, if you wanna know how I do my notebooks from start to finish, Stay tuned to this video. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I already have my cover printed out and I already have the back of my notebook printed out, okay? So first thing I do, I wanna go ahead and laminate this. I put a sh one sheet of lamination over it and that's just to give it that extra layer of protection, okay? So I have these lamination sheets here that I bought from Walmart. And I also bought the laminator from Walmart, okay? And I'll leave all that, all the materials and where I got it from down below in the description box, okay? All right, so I go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and insert this into the lamination paper. And what I'm looking for is I'm looking to make sure that it's pushed up so that it has enough room on the lamination paper to close off around the edges and the corners, okay? So let's move this back just a little bit. sure this is pushed up and far enough all right so i got it pretty much even inside the lamination paper and what i'm gonna do is go ahead and push it through my laminator okay and once it goes through my laminator i'll come back and show you guys the results of it being laminated all right, so this is how it looks when it comes out of the laminator. Nice and shiny. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab my paper cutter and I'm gonna go ahead and trim the edges down, okay? Just a tad bit. All right, so I have my paper cutter here and I'm just gonna trim my edges down just a tad bit, not much. You don't wanna trim it too close to the seal on the lamination paper because you don't wanna break the seal, okay? So just be careful not to break the seal on the lamination paper. And I'm not cutting it much, just, just trimming it down just a little bit, okay? I'm gonna trim all four sides down. And as I stated, you just wanna be extra careful not to break the seal on the lamination paper because we don't want that. We want the seal to stay nice and closed so it can give our cover the extra layer of protection. And you can just kind of eyeball it to see just to make sure you got everything lined up straight. Okay. 
All right, we got the top part. We're gonna go ahead and trim it down. So we have it trimmed down and what I like to do is grab my scissors. I'm going to go ahead and round the edges off because I don't want those sharp edges on it. So I'll just go ahead and grab my scissors and I'll round the edges off. And this part is really just a personal preference. Again, you want to be careful not to cut the seal or the lamination paper. I'm just rounding it off because I don't want those sharp edges in the way. All right, so now I have my cover done. What's left is to go ahead and use our cinch. I'm gonna go ahead and use my cinch and I'm gonna go ahead and punch my holes using my cinch, okay? So I gave you guys an overview of how to use the cinch last night. This is the measuring ruler. When we punch our first set of holes, we're gonna leave this closed, leave it in, okay? And my the measurement of my notebook is eight, 0.5 by 11 inches okay so the length is 11 inches okay and that's important for when we punch the second set of holes so to punch the first set of holes you want it in this position the closed position go ahead and insert it make sure it's touching the back of the wall the cinch wall okay you want to go ahead and hold it in place and press down on the level okay and there we have we have our first set of holes punched okay and now to do the second set I'm gonna pull this out all right and I have 11 my the length of my cover is 11 inches so down here it says 11 inches so I need, it tells me I need to pull, because the length is 11 inches, it tells me I need to pull peg 10, okay? So we're gonna pull peg 10 out, and that's to disable it so that the holes are not too far on the top, okay? So same as before, and then when we put it in, we're gonna let the alignment level, we're gonna let the alignment tool down into the second hole to the last. So it'll be this hole, we're gonna push it down and that's to make sure that the holes are being punched in the right place, okay? So we have it pushed all the way back. We have our alignment tool pushed down and we have peg 10 pulled out. And now we wanna go ahead and press the holes, okay? Lift your alignment tab back up and pull it out. And there we have it. We have our second set of holes, okay? Nice and lined up, okay? All right, so that's it for the top cover. Now we're gonna move on to the back cover, okay? So it's gonna be the same process with the back cover as the front cover, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and push it through the laminator. And my for my back cover, I'm just using a piece of cardstock that I bought from Michaels. It has the rose gold linings on the pink flowers and the back is just a pink color, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna send this through the laminator and I'll be back and show you guys the next steps, okay?
And if you do end up cutting a seal off or breaking the seal, you can just send it back through the laminator and it'll seal it off again, okay? I cut too close to the edge of this and so it broke the seal, but I'm just running it back through the laminator again and it sealed, it sealed it off. It's just a little bit extra work, but that's okay. It just goes to show you what can happen if you're not careful, okay? So it did go ahead and seal it back off and I'm gonna go ahead and round the edges off just a little bit. Making sure not to break the seal around the edges. And it really helps to have a good light because I can barely see when I'm not holding it in the light of where the seal is at around it, okay? All right, so we have the back cover done. We're gonna bring this back up and we're gonna go ahead and punch our holes. Same way we did the cover, okay? All right, so we have our little holes punched in the front and the back cover. And the next step you would do is you would go ahead and punch the holes in your paper the same way. I went ahead and punched my holes because I knew that would take a while because the, the notebook that I'm doing tonight is going to have up to 120 pages in it. So I went ahead and punched those holes off camera. Okay, so you'll punch the holes. That will be your next step, okay? And now, our next step is going to be to go ahead and place our binding wire on the, the binder ring holder. And what it does, it holds it in, the rings in place while you go ahead and put your paper on it, okay? So you place it here on the holder for the binder ring. And we first we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and start off by putting our paper in. And I'll show you the reason why you wanna start off with your paper first, okay? And I'm trying to put a lot of paper on here at one time. That's why. So let's go ahead and get it in there. I'm going to have a total of 120 sheets, somewhere between 100 and 120 sheets, okay? And it's up to you. It depends on the size rings that you have. These are one and one fourth size rings. So the rings that I have, the one and one fourth rings, they hold up to 120 sheets. So I'm putting anywhere between 100 and 120 sheets. I'll be giving this um, notebook to my sister. She's gonna add some other um, stickers and stuff inside of it when she gets it. She goes, She says she wants to turn it into a planner, so she's gonna personalize it the way she wants it to be. So I'm adding my last set of paper. Okay, so I have all my paper added. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add the front and the back cover. So here's the thing with the front and the back cover, okay? You wanna put the front cover on first. And then you wanna go ahead and put the back cover on top of the front cover. That way, 
the binding ring it hides the wires inside of the planner for you okay so I, first i put my front cover down and now i'm gonna put my back cover down okay and you notice i have it flipped over to the back side and you'll see why okay all right so i have that on now that i have this on i can remove it remove it go ahead and turn my binder down and i'm gonna go ahead and with this you want to make sure that okay so you want to make sure your wire is in there you kind of want to make make sure that it's sitting at like a C, it's sitting in the C shape. So when you go ahead and bind it, it binds it everything down. And I'm gonna have to stand up so I can lay it down. So I have it in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and press it down. Well, first, before you press it down, make sure you have it on the size of your ring. It goes from three eighths to one and one fourth. I already have mine turned to one and one fourth, so I'm gonna go ahead and bind this down. Okay. And you see that it didn't bind the whole thing, so I'm gonna go ahead and slide it over. I'm gonna go ahead and slide it over and bind it again. Okay. And it's okay if you do it more than once to go ahead and make sure it's binded. Okay. Okay guys, so there you have it. Like I say, I have the one four one and one fourth binder rings. So I went ahead and did that because I wanted to put up to 120 sheets inside of it. And I wanted to have room so that she could add her dividers because she's gonna add some dividers. So you can see how you can't see the wire and that's why we did the, the back cover on top of the front cover. So you, you don't have any of that wire exposed. It's in the inside, okay? Everything is binded nicely. It's not coming loose, okay? And there you have it. That's how I do my journals and my notebooks. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.